In this video, we're going to look at circles touching internally and externally. So let's have a look at a diagram here. So I have a circle, and I want another circle inside it. So they touch internally. So then let's say this is the radius of the big one. This is the radius of the little one. I'll do it beside it here. So we've got, I'll call this point A and this point B. So what can we say about the distance between their centers? So if I call the big one R1 and the small one R2, the distance between their centers is going to be R1 minus R2. So this is for internal. The distance between their centers will be the big radius minus the small radius. And if they touch externally, we can say that the distance between their centers, R1 for the small one and R2 for the big one, and AB, so this is equal to the distance AB. No, it's equal to the distance between their centers. Apologies. The distance between the centers. So in this case, the distance between the centers, you can see here is going to be R1 plus R2. And the centers will always be in line in these questions. So let's have a look at a question here that relates to this topic. So question like x squared plus y squared equals 25 is one circle and x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 24y plus k is equal to naught touch externally find the value of k so it's our second example here we add the radiuses together and it will be equal to distance that will be equal to the distance between a and b so let's have a look at the first equation so my center is zero zero and my radius is the square root of 25. for my second equation i have x minus 5 to be squared to give me my minus 10x when we've brought in a 25 we don't need plus y plus 12 to be squared which is give me give me the 24y but i've got a 144 there that i don't need so i'm at 169 take away that 169 and I still have my plus k equals naught. So let's have a look here. If I write this equation out as x minus 5 to be squared plus y plus 12 to be squared, that's going to be equal to 169 minus k. And we know the right hand side is r squared so we can say that x minus 5 to be squared plus y plus 12 to be squared is equal to r squared. So um, that means that R is equal to the square root of 169 minus K. So now the distance between their centers, if we just do a little sketch here, we've got the center of this circle is going to be 5 minus 12. So just a quick sketch. I've got 0, 0 for one. I have 5 minus 12 for another. The wrong direction. 5 minus 12 for the other. So if I can get the distance this diagonal I have a 5 and a 12 so the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to 13 you should have seen this before so the distance between their centers is 13 or the, the distance between their centers so we have one radius is 5 and another radius is 169 root 169 minus k so 5 plus the square root of 169 minus k is equal to the distance between their centers which is 13. so if i bring the five across i'm going to get the square root of 169 minus k is equal to 8. squaring both sides i get 169 minus k is equal to 64. bring the k to the right and make it positive and the 64 to the left 169 minus 64 is 105. so in this question k is equal to 105. So in this question, you're asked to prove that these two circles touch and state whether it's internal or external.
So let's take circle one. We're going to have x minus 6 to be squared. Give me my minus 12x. I don't want this 36. I'm going to have plus y plus 3 to be squared to give me my 6y. And I don't want this 9. So I've brought in a 45 that I don't want. I have to go back to 76. So I'm going to go all the way back to 76. So just add the two together and you're going to get 121. So I've got to take away 121 to balance my equation. So it equals 121. So the center is 6 minus 3. And the radius is the square root of 121, which is equal to 11. For my second circle, I'm going to have x plus 2 to be squared to give me my 4x. That's a 4 I don't want. Plus y minus 3 to be squared to give me my minus 6y. And that's a plus 9 I don't want. So I've brought in plus 13, but I want to be at 12. So I just got to take away 1 or equals 1. So the center is minus 2 plus 3, and the radius is the square root of 1, which is 1. So if we get the distance between the centers, it'll tell us something about these circles. So the square root, difference in x, 6 to minus 2 is 8 squared. So the difference between this number and this number, the difference between the y's from minus 3 to plus 3 is 6 squared. And that works out to be 10. The square root of 64 plus 36 is the square root of 100. So you can see here, 11 minus 1 equals 10. So therefore, they touch internally.